What's up, guys? This is Chris with BenonBaseballCards.com. I have, uh, I finally found some Series 1 cards again. Yes, Series 1. Series 1. That would be that right there. I, uh, I've been hurting for singles on Series 1 for a long time because all the singles that I had and still have are from the original jumbo boxes I got before prices got extremely out of control shot up to over $130 for a jumbo box and over $100 for a hobby box when you turn around and look at the update prices now update you can get for $30 a hobby box and 65 for a jumbo so it something's not making any sense there and it, it probably has something to do with the fact that they're putting a lot of uh, manufactured cards in the update set now so the jumbo includes an auto and two fake relic cards is how I look at it. So that cost them less money, so they cost less money in the in the end for the consumer, which is me and everybody else that buys boxes. I am going to bust these open with my uh, special PenonBaseballCards.com box cutter, otherwise known as uh, Walmart. I am going to bust open a cereal box first. I'm going to do all these boxes consecutively. I'm not going to cut the video unless the batteries die or something like that. But I'm just going to make it one full video and I'll put in the title that it's two blasters and three serial. All series one. And that way I can chop it down and I can make as few videos as possible. That's what I, that's my goal. Really? It's going to be that tough to get this thing open. The uh, Legends Refractor card, it's going to be a Platinum Legends Refractor because I got all these boxes at Walmart. It's Hannes Wagner. There he is. Good old Hannes. That's number PC10. We'll put that up there off to the side. I'm going to give a shout out to one of my buddies out there that uh, constantly... Uh, He's constantly advertising for me. There's uh, several people out there, but uh, Zach has been really, uh, he's been a good customer for me. He does order cards. He is extremely positive about what I've done here. He definitely uh, tries to help the store out as much as possible and tries to help me out personally. So Zach Blow 66 is uh, his YouTube name. He does, uh, I asked him what he wanted in here and he told me just normal stuff. So I... I uh, watched some of his videos. He does. Uh, he gets autos through the mail. Uh, he does a lot of football stuff, and I wrote all this stuff down for myself to remind me. Just so you guys can see that. Zach Blos 66 is uh, his YouTube his YouTube ID, so you guys can bring that up and check out some of his videos. Most of them say TTM, and I believe that stands for Through the Mail. Uh, he, he sends out cards or requests in some way to players to get autographs and they mail them back to him autographed. Uh, you guys, to get more information on that, you guys definitely have to go to Zach and find out uh, all about that. I don't know much about it, but he would be, watching his videos would be able to help you out. You could probably pick up some information from his videos alone and then you can always ask him questions too. So we're going to go ahead and go uh, this quick review on some Series 1 cards here. Thank you, Zach, for doing everything that you've done for the store. And if you watch Zach's videos, uh, a lot of his recent videos are going to have uh, a recognizable logo in the background. You know, I'll let you guys go ahead and uh, find out what that is by going to his videos. Dustin Richardson. I don't know if I ever brought this up on one of the videos, but these blue triangles right here and up here, this is the only Red Sox card in the set that has blue triangles instead of having red triangles. All the other Red Sox cards have red. Um, like this Victor Martinez has red. I don't know if there's any more Red Sox in here. That was just coincidence. But yeah, you can see the Victor Martinez has red triangles. So it was kind of coincidental. That was right next to it. There's the Pujols error that uh, is uncorrected, I'm sure, as well as the Richardson and all the other errors. The only error that was corrected was the... Uh, uh, Melvin Mora card, I believe is what it was, where it had a picture of, uh, and I've had two of them, by the way, the Melvin Mora error. I think it's card number 13. This has Pujols, so this is his outfield, and this should say first base, obviously, everybody knows that. But the position on the front of the card is correct, is 1B. It's 
Prince Fielder. Nice. Stamping's looking pretty good on these cards. Reggie Jackson. Do you think it'll be regular or original? Regular. Babe Ruth, History of the Game, Ernie Banks, Turkey Red. Code card. 69, Amazing Mets. Ozzie Smith and Jose Reyes, Legendary Lineage. Chipper Jones, Peak Performance. Let me get these down a little bit. Brian Roberts, When They Were Young. Kevin Euclid's code, uh, uh, Ticket to Topstown code card, which we haven't seen very many of because they replaced them with Tops Attacks code cards in Series 2 and Update. And I don't really see anything else significant, Joe Maurer. But we've all seen these Series 1 cards here. Alright, now that I took a lot of time on that one, I'm just going to blaze through the singles. I'll go through them because I want to know if there's any SPs in them. But I'm not going to spend a whole lot more time on it. If you guys want me to give you a shout out in one of, your, in one of my videos, let me know and I'll do the best I can. Um, it might be difficult if, you, if it starts to become kind of overwhelming. It might be difficult for me to keep doing it, but you guys help me out and I'm going to try to help you guys out in return. <clears throat> this Platinum Refractor is Lou Gehrig. I'm sure everybody knows who Lou Gehrig is. You can see the nice little rainbowishness. That's nice. So we got Hannes Wagner and Lou Gehrig. In this cereal box, we have some upside down cards. Oh, it's going to be the exact same cereal box. No. Hmm, I'm, I might have to compare these together here. I'm going to be kind of not happy if these are the same. I didn't. I don't remember. See, I remember seeing CC and Hank Blaylock and Lyle Overbay. I think that's how mine started right there was with Overbay. Yeah, right here. So we got Overbay, Blaylock, CC, and then it changes to Gomez. I'm gonna see if it picks back up anywhere. Cause I think there was an I bar. Yeah, Adam Kennedy right there. So those two are different. But then we go to Adam Kennedy, Eric I bar. Wow, look at that. Kilby, Kyle Blanks, and I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. I didn't really expect that to happen like that. I'm keeping an eye on these cars to see how many are the same. Okay, so we're now to Gilmesh. Now we've gone to Dustin Richardson, Humberto Quintero, Travis Buck, Gary Sheffield, Kyle Phillips. Boy, this is disappointing. It's actually not disappointing for me because I can use all the Series 1 cards I can get my hands on, but um, it's disappointing. Mm, I've got candy in my mouth. To know that these cards are getting away like this or getting through like this to consumers. I don't think that's cool. Oh, I know I saw that St. Louis Cardinals card in here somewhere. I figure I might as well show you guys this at the same time. Alright, so... Cardinals, Cardinals. Venable, Venable. Phillies, Phillies. Eric Young, Eric Young. And then it starts back over. So these are the ones that didn't double up. Here. And here. I got a Brian Braun, Prince Fielder Gold. I think this is my second one of this card. I think somebody bought the first one. This is numbered 1960 out of 2010. So that obviously didn't repeat. So we can put that over there. Robin Yount is a regular bag. History of the game. Albert Pujols, Turkey Red. Million card giveaway. Pesky's Pole. Tim Lincecum, Bob Gibson, Legendary Lineage. Roy Campanella, Peak Performance. Show that without the light reflecting on it. Justin Verlander, when they were young. Justin Upton, Topstown Gold, or first class. I know this is kind of time consuming here, but I'm kind of taking a brief look at the names here to see if I can see if any of these other ones repeated. You know Escobar, sure enough. How about that? After all those inserts, and a few more cars that didn't double up, we got Umel Escobar, Matt Camel, 
Let's turn all these over. Wow, that is disappointing. Benji Molina. Austin Kearns. Wow, these are almost the exact same boxes here, guys. That is super disappointing. We start back over here at Daniel Murphy. Kendrick Schumacher and John Garland. Wow, that is that is crushing to know that you guys are getting this stuff when you pay for these boxes. If you were to get those same two boxes I got out of the store, that's what you would have gotten. I'm just truly disappointed in that. I really, really am. And it's a good thing that it happened on the uh, on the video like this, so I was I was able to take an opportunity to show you guys. And I did it on purpose because anybody who wants to challenge my belief that the, obviously these things are computerized, they're put into a pack in a rhythm of some kind. I may have even got more doubles in here. I just don't. I don't want to waste any more camera time looking at it. Uh, as far as I know, but there's two cereal boxes right there. And here are the cards that were doubled up. This is how many doubles I got. Let me, let me stack these up here next to these so you can see the, the difference in the height. These are the two cereal boxes, or as far as I know, the originals. And these are all the doubles together. So there's obviously a stack of, there's obviously a set of originals in here too. But I, because I put them both together, I paired them all up. So out of 110 cards, let's say, I'll split this in half. That many duplicates out of 110 cards. That's ridiculous. I, I, I feel so bad for kids that get taken advantage of like that by a company just trying to make a computerized system that makes it easy for them to rack up a bunch of money. And they, they, they start to forget about the consumer. The people that made them who they are and got them the money that they have, they forget about the customer. And it, it's just disappointing. And obviously, I keep buying Topps cards because I still like Topps cards. I don't, I don't have anything against the product at all. I, I love cards and, and Topps itself. I've always loved Topps the most. Uh, I never really cared much for Upper Deck. Jimmy Fox is the uh, refractor in the third box here. But it disappoints me when a product starts out very good or a company starts out good with their product and then they, they start to sacrifice the likes or the, the quality to the customer they sacrifice that to keep making profit easily, easy money. I'm just really disappointed in that. This uh, Sharon, well, that Andrew McCutcheon is way off. The Sharon Martise card, that's number 193. Down here, or in here in the paragraph, this word victory, I don't think it was originally intended to be. You can see the gap right there and then a big gray gap. I don't think that was intended to be there because it ended up bumping everything else down and it cut off his... Let me show you Kevin Gregg. You can see Kevin Gregg's card here has the black, the dark black, uh, bold Major League Totals line. It, it bumped that line off of there and I don't think they realized it. Uh, I don't think they caught it at all, so it, obviously it doesn't. It isn't, it isn't going to have a corrected version. Uh, I, I, I really can't believe that it's going to, that they're going to take the time to correct something that simple, like they wouldn't correct the pool holes. There's a Lincecum. Base, it's just his regular old Lincecum card.